I'd like to start by thanking my friend Jack. Not only did he capture that awesome air-to-air -air footage, but he also helped a lot throughout the day. Uh, he served as my spotter at times and an extra pair of hands, and uh, I really appreciate his help. Now, I have two Phoenix 2400s. Um, one of them, I've added solar cells to the wings, and I've got a few videos about that. Um, the other set of wings, I left normal, and they're the ones that you can see here. So instead of messing with solar, I decided to just build a larger uh, battery and give it another shot. So um, not only does solar add weight and complexity and weather dependence, uh, but also it's difficult to install solar cells without messing up the top curvature of, it, of the airfoil. So uh, despite my best efforts, I think that the airfoil became quite a bit less efficient. And so I was curious to know if I just used a larger, higher voltage battery, if I could uh, get an even longer flight time. And this appealed to me because um, in theory you could fly it on a cloudy day or you could fly it at night and you would still have this same awesome endurance. Throttle armed, that sets the home location. Change the flight mode to auto where the one and only waypoint is takeoff. And now it's ready to go. Uh, it's set up for shake to wake, so a little bump. We'll wake it up, it's gonna spin the motor up and then I'm gonna throw it as hard as I can and hope it flies. I'm going to use just a little bit of flaps, half flaps, because I don't have a headwind or anything to, to throw it into. And uh, gonna be super careful and gentle as I pick it up nervous this thing weighs a little over nine and a half pounds and that is a lot of airplane to throw oh that way looks pretty good too but i know there's a road that way and i know there's not much this way Ooh. hopefully it doesn't crash into that white fence wake it up come on baby yes Take off the flaps. Oh, ha, oh, it's flying. Nice. Man, I'm glad I had that click of flap turned on. Whew. Pardon my heavy breathing. I was extremely nervous and excited. This was the first and only time that the plane has flown with this super, super heavy battery. Let me go over the OSD real quick. We've got number of GPS satellites, wind speed, airspeed, ground speed, distance and direction to the home location, flight mode, fly time, milliamp hours consumed, distance across the ground, voltage, altitude, current, and throttle setting. 70% throttle, pulling 16 amps. About to hit the 350 feet where it will turn around. There it is. Nice. And now it's gonna circle the home position and it's coming back looking smooth. Nice. Nice. Gonna reset the recording because if it goes to bad static, the rest of the recording is donezo. So starting the new recording. We're at a minute and 30 seconds. Nice. There it is. Looking good. This is just over an hour into the flight and I've averaged about five amps per hour. And this is about the two hour mark and I'm on the low side of five amps per hour. All right, we're 175 minutes into the flight. Uh, three hours is 180 minutes. So we're almost at the three hour mark. Uh, here's my setup, got my backup screen, Cheez-Its, cooler, transmitter, and uh, yeah, everything's looking good. I set up my ground station here because not only did I have shade and a place to put my things, but I could also easily see the plane flying in its orbit uh, across the sky from left to right. Let's have a look around. Nice. Wind is still about five miles an hour. The flight controller does a really good job of assessing the wind using the, uh, the GPS and the accelerometers and gyros. 
my ground station is right there. We've covered 95 miles across the ground and uh, everything's looking really good. We are four hours and 43 minutes into the flight. Uh, we have a good number of GPS satellites. The wind has picked up a little bit. Uh, airspeed and ground speed are still in the low 30s. Um, current use so far looks good. Voltage looks good. Um, now, as we jump to the next clip, which is at the seven and a half hour mark, the altitude there, about 340 some feet, that will remain the same, but watch the distance to the ground. A lot closer, right? So uh, over the course of those roughly three hours, um, the temperature increased quite a bit and a barometer drift occurred. So the plane thinks it's at 350 feet, but it's quite a bit lower. Now this is at the nearly 10 hour mark and uh, you can see the sun's at quite a low angle now. Here's the final lap. We are at 11.4 volt, 11.3 volts. And uh, we're gonna do one more go around. Motor off. Switching to manual. Drop the flap so I don't overshoot too badly. Still gonna overshoot. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn around down there. Don't crash it, please don't crash it. Don't stall. Avoid the dog. Coming in to land. Please just land. Ten hours and forty five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Noise. Noise. Ten hours and forty five minutes. <laughs> hey puppy. Thank you for not fighting you. Aw oh, dude. That's it. You're down. Let me give you a tour of the airplane. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. You still recording? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so uh modification since last time. Uh swapped out the antenna. Uh, from a pagoda to a little lollipop uh, that probably helped a little bit obviously the solar wings are gone this is the second set um, the prop is a 12 by 12 there is the monster battery um, just there's a large section of the fuselage cut out to fit it uh, you see anything else not ready flight controller is here uh, Here's the inside. Oh, the prop survived. Yeah, there's the receiver, ESC. And uh, if you want to get a shot of the FPV screen, in the sun. Yeah. 10 hours and 45 minutes. I was so, so pumped. If you watch me in the top right corner of the screen, you will literally see me jumping with joy. A little embarrassing, I apologize, but this is this is a super long flight time. I used the whole battery, of course, covered 340 miles across the ground and flew for 645 minutes. That's 10 hours and 45 minutes. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to uh, answer questions and discuss stuff in the comments below. Uh, hit the like button if you will, subscribe if you wanna see my future videos, and thanks for watching.